a warm welcome to all of you today in this video i am going to discuss the time measurement system in the ancient world the history of the time keeping devices dated back to the time when the ancient civilization first observed the celestial bodies moving across the sky they have invented several types of time keeping devices like sundial as depicted in the figure this is the jantar mantar jain on the world largest sundial this is actually the equilateral sundial and this is the ghatika yantra this is the ghatika yantra and this is the one of the water based uh, time keeping devices the description of the water based time keeping devices also mentioned in atharva veda in the second millennium of bc this is the very old monolithic structure from uk called the stone hinge and it is from the bronze age sundial is basically a horological devices which tells the time when the direct sunlight shines um, due to the apparent position of the sun in the sky this is a sundial and uh, in the narrower sense of word it consists of a dial and a nomen which uh, cast the shadow of the sunlight on a dial the shadow of the nomen makes a line with the hour line which tells the time of the day this is the world uh, oldest known sundial from the valley of king Uh, and it was uh, built around 1500 bc and uh, this is another monolithic structure there is the hellenistic era marble sundial was found in the piece of ancient city of lodikia the city of uh, some kilometer from the istanbul now this is the sundial is called the konark sundial this is the uh, from uh, konark sun temple in india built around 1250 ad and it is a full of secrets of ancient india it has eight spokes and these eight spokes actually divide the 24 hour in equal 3 hour and in between two major spokes there is a minor spoke so the time separation between the minor and major spoke is about 90 minute in between a major and minor spoke there are actually 30 beats so 90 minute is get divided equally into the 3 minutes so using this instrument one can measure accurately to the minutes now i am going to talk about an ancient invention from india which is called the ghatika yantra and it is a water based uh, time keeping device used in ancient and medieval period in india the description of the ghatika yantra is also found in uh, badaha mihir pancha siddhanta which is basically based on the surya siddhanta uh, ancient uh, chinese traveler who visited who had visited india during uh, 17th century bc also had also given and given an account of this uh, water based uh, science time keeping device which worked at the nalanda university so mathematics of the sundial actually uh, we can consider earth as a, a large uh, sundial and is axis as a nomen nomen uh, is a greek word which means Uh, one that knows so uh, sunlight actually cast the shadow on a plane which is parallel to the uh, equilateral plane and uh, uh, we can divide this circle in 24 equally spaced line which is called the hour line and each uh, uh, the separation between each hour line is around 15 degree and this is a uh, diagram of a equilateral uh, 
sundial and this uh, sundial has a gunum uh, this gunum is perpendicular to this plane and uh, it is marked in between uh, 6 am to 6 pm now sundial may be of two types one is called the vertical sundial another is called the horizontal sundial and the vertical sundial actually the uh, projection of the uh, equilateral sundial on the vertical plane and uh, horizontal sundial is the uh, projection of the uh, equilateral sundial on the horizontal plane but the basic difference is that uh, the circular plane uh, in uh, equilateral uh, sundial uh, is casted on vertical or horizontal plane in a elliptic elliptical um, plane so there is a conversion formula of the hour line which is depicted here for the conversion formula of the vertical plane is h equal to tan inverse tan of t cos of l and the conversion formula for the horizontal sundial is h equal to tan inverse tan of t sin of l although the sun appears to move smoothly over the sky of the <coughs> earth but in reality the motion is not perfectly uniform this is due to the eccentricity of the earth orbit and the fact that the earth orbit tilts um, about the um, orbital plane of the orbit so uh, the time which is uh, measured by the sundial is not actually uh, matches well with the um, standard local time uh, so the correction need to be made and uh, this is given by the equation uh, equation of time which is depicted here uh, but uh, the effort has been made uh, to correct this <coughs> um, to correct this uh, sundial time keeping device the sunquest sundial is designed by the richard l sommer at the mount cuba observatory in green valley delaware and uh, he had uh, invented or designed a sundial uh, which uh, entirely based um, or um, motivated by the um, anonema which is the um, motion of the sun within the sky and he casted the shadow on a uh, using a gonum uh, anomen and which is uh, um, casted the shadow on a equilateral plane <coughs> and this type of sundial is uh, um, uh, adjustable uh, for uh, different longitude and latitude and so um, uh, it automatically corrects the uh, uh, equation of time so uh, the uh, the the science of uh, sundial is very interesting and uh, people and the students can uh, easily make uh, the sundial in their home so um, uh, in my next lecture i will um, give the description how to um, uh, prepare a sundial using a simple uh, household element uh, so uh, for that uh, I end my session here and uh, I am looking forward to uh, my next video. Thanking you.